hello everyone welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be running the infraction on an airstrip that's the good stuff that's right so it's not like a real airstrip it's a model it's a airplane airstrip i just I, it's like this it's been so windy for so long i finally i got up early got out here luckily i got some flights in before the wind got crazy look at my official windsock here this is whoa yeah i mean look man the planes just want to take off i'll tell you what man it's a cool thing to get into if you're looking to enhance your uh, rc experience oh, what am i doing here get in the planes man they i have uh people talking about oh i got great throttle control because i can jump like i said before man you manipulate all this all these switches <laughs> and you're doing all this because you, you got throttle here's your rudder which is the back piece which like in a day like this you're, you're working that to land you got your left and right which is your ailerons which is banking and then you know you're up and down working your elevator back here so if you picture you're landing you know you're you're flaring a little bit you're trying to keep it straight you're throttling on and off maybe cutting it working that rudder like a lot to you that is throttle control and stuff i love the guys with these uh rc cars talking about oh they got great throttle control man you manipulate one surface man i gotta manipulate like eight well we got four channels on here so well, four channels just working the flight control surfaces so i'm kind of curious uh this is the infraction mega this initially came brushed i got it pretty good de you know scratch and dent deal um there we go i don't think that needs to be that tight and uh i upgraded it to uh i put a uh what a a castle motor and esc in there and i just i wasn't happy with it it was just always running hot so i went on jenny's rc and actually just got the real 3s package that they sell for the upper model yeah you know i think in the long run it just would have been cheaper to get that especially now it's on sale but it is what it is let me see so we got satellites let's uh let's show it it's moving i have not speed tested this thing since i actually made it to factory so i am curious how it's gonna run and also if you're wondering uh oh my 360 camera that would really suck to forget that i did a couple of flyovers Woo! damn oh boy i would have I'd have been freaking out if I got home and realized I didn't have that. Although, not a lot of people use this airfield, so it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But it works for me. It works for me. It's a club you have to join, so. But anyhow, I, I came here to fly the planes, and then I was going to go to, like, that tennis court place that I normally run these. And, uh, I thought, what the hell? This is a nice flat surface. I'm not sure if it's enough for me to get full speed, but... Woo. Maybe. Maybe we got it. Woo, a lot of brakes. <laughs> Dude, this is a great little RC. It really is. What do you think? 56. 56. Dude, this thing's 3S. Wow. All right. It's the only downside to planes is that wind can kind of... I mean, look, like... 
Well, this little one, it does good in the wind, but it's not the most powerful thing. This thing does a lot better in the wind. It's, it's got a... Um, runs on this little 3S pack, but it's 3S. That thing runs on... I think this is a little 2S. But yeah, you know, the street in front of my house is so rough. Man, I just shred these tires. Oh, um... And I, I've been, I've been really itching just to drive something, one of my older RCs, man. It's all this new stuff, been coming out, and I haven't had time for any of the new. Stuff. That sounds weird. Um, and before somebody says anything, I know that these cars had differential issues with the shimming and all that I've been through the diffs I mean it's, I've had this thing for a while it could just need some maintenance it's, it's always been kind of loud though I think it's the uh, the cut the mod gears that the uh, army uses Woo. Oh man, this is oh, this is the place to go. Oh no, oh, sweet. I love the bashers always talk about throttle control. Man, get on the ground and drive, do some of this. Ah. You see the little wheelie? <laughs> that was fun. Personally, I think the uh, the ones that had the most skill on this RC stuff are the, are the racers that race those circuits, like the track that I go to. I mean, man, you're hitting jumps and turns, and you got it long straightaways and then sharp turns. There, you got to really be up on everything for that. Oh no, fire ants. Oh man, for you guys in the north, you got no idea how mean these little freaks are. They will swarm out faster than... There they go, look. See them all? And if they're in that RC, it's going to be hard to get them out. Those things will bite you. It hurts. It stings. And about a day later, you will have like a bunch of pimples where each one well, pimple looking things where they bit you got that poison under you those things suck they are mean and they're all over the south for those of you up north be glad you ain't got them damn things Oh no. It's like I said a hundred times. When you buy an RC car, know what you're buying. Uh, what kind of driving do you want to do? Um, Cause like this thing is not an off-road car. It never was designed to be. It's an on-road. Um, well actually even, the way the Mega came, it came with like little knobby tires and they called it an all-road. That, that was just bad marketing. I would not drive this thing off-road. It is a great drift truck. Ah. Oh! Hence, that's why you don't off-road it, because it's so low to the ground it hits anything. But this thing is tough. Um, also, I think if you're going to do speed running, it's a great platform, because it's the same thing as the Vendetta. And with the Vendetta, I've hit over 100 with it, and I don't see why this wouldn't... It's not as aerodynamic as the... Ah. Yeah, something does not sound right. 
I might have to cut this short. I'm not sure what's going on. Not sure what's going on here. What's uh Oh, look at these back tires. <laughs> They're gone. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but something's making a good bit of noise. Ah. Ah. I found a problem with the noise. The tire has been hitting the... Uh, Last time I ran this thing, I hit something. Oh, when I took it to the BMX park, I, I hit a couple of jumps and it pushed this front end and you can see the crease right here. So now the tire is hitting. That's what the noise is. All right. Ow. You know, I said it before, you know, unfortunately, all the new RCs get the, uh, get the glory. Just like I've, I've pumped a bunch of videos out here on the Max Slash, which that's been a real joy because I had issues with the car. And, oh boy, I had to deal with the fanboys on that. I can't drive. I don't know what I'm doing. All cars flip. I don't see this one flipping unless I launch it in the grass over there, but... <laughs> But, yeah, you know, all these new cars have been coming out, and I look at all my old cars, and I've just been itching to take this one out. I keep looking at it, and, oh, man, I think I found a new drift place, man. This is great. This is so slick out here. Oh, wow. Oops. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah, a while back I did a video on this, even got in an argument. This guy's talking about, okay, Mr. Expert, you know everything. I'm like, I'm trying to tell him I've already been through the diffs on this. I already been through the diffs. I, I know. I saw some of the videos. I saw all the stuff, and I went through here. I'm not stupid, man. I know how to open the diff and feel if it's binding man i've done differentials on cars um i've worked on real cars so toy cars are you know very similar they're just a lot easier and truth they're not as precise the precision that's needed to do a differential on a real car you're setting that thing up with gauges micrometers and that this, you know, you just slap it together, you know, you eyeball it, put a little shim in there. If that was a real car, yeah, you'd be setting up with mics and uh, you'd be doing some precision tuning to it. Aw, oh, man. I'm pretty sure by the time I push this video, I think the truck month stuff sales over. But guys, man, just watch Tower Hobbies. They all the time having sales on stuff. And just get the legit three. No, actually, they don't make the Mega anymore. They don't make the Mega. Mega. I try to be careful the way I say that because I don't want politics getting into this. But yeah, battery died in the GoPro. I don't even know where I. <laughs> I think that's my thumbnail. Look at. Ah, oh, that looks amazing. I want to touch on something here real quick. Somebody asked me why I got the 36 inch ramp having an X Max. Because if I went 48, it would be here. So this gives me enough room to put like a, a larger RC, some of the 8S. Because see, with the ramp in here, I have limited space. What I can do, I mean, granted, I can take the shelf out and stand this piece up, but you know. It actually works pretty good for holding some of the smaller RC cars. But yeah, that's why I didn't get anything bigger. I, it, it fits in my car easy. Uh, and it saves a little bit of weight, not getting the 48 inch 
I think I need to put this in the car. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man. Okay, I need to put these up. Or like this, I can put my plane in here and I don't have to worry about taking this ramp out all the time. So, that's why I got 36 inch. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, everyone, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up here. Man, don't forget the old RCs, man. You know, I know the new RCs are exciting, and it's the latest, greatest thing. And honestly, most of the reason I have anything newer is just because I'm doing the channel. I'm trying to grow the channel. And, you know, the new stuff gets the views. Uh, people are excited about it. And, boy, if you make a video saying something's wrong with it, the fanboys of that company come out. Wow. I didn't know people were that strong on Traxxas. Ooh, but honestly it is. I thought the armor crowd was tough. But wow. Oh well, anyhow. This is this is a, a great RC man. It, if you're not looking to go off-road and uh and jump and you know if you want to build something for a speed run or just have some fun just going up and down uh racing around like that or even drifting i mean look at it man thing looks amazing it does it really does oh i think the battery might be Oh yeah, it's getting down there. Let's see the temps at 160. I've been running this thing pretty hard. Uh, people hate the smart technology, but I'll tell you what. Let's see 122. I believe that's that might be motor. I don't know. Let's see. I can see all three cells there. 3.71, 71, um, 34 cycles on that. Oh, battery temp is 120 degrees. That's cool. Uh, ESC 11 volts 143 degrees um, so look at that we got RPM uh, temp current so pretty cool stuff man all right everyone hope you enjoyed watching the old infraction here run Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope to see you on the next one.